you're a queen of hearts. Hi. 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 <laughs> oh, he's looking only at Gabby. You wanna go outside? Yeah, we're going. Hi, big guy. Hi, <laughs> you guys look okay. You guys look normal. Hi. You still eating? Hey. He didn't eat all his hay. Finn always puts his ears back when he, the entire day fam in the barn at one time. Here, ponies. Good morning guys, welcome to today. Today we were up at the crack of dawn, all of us, and it sucks. <laughs> and welcome back to winter. This is how we feed the ponies. Gets fed. There you go. And then, oh, look, she's already. <laughs> no. Ponies are kind of on a diet now that Sky's gone. Now that the horses are home and Sky's <laughs> gone, I want to like clean out our paddock and and I want to I want to really start working on our farm. But today and for the next three days, it's gonna rain. Wahoo! So basically there will be no, nothing, no three days. So yeah, but it kind of holds into my plan. Like I wanted the horses to come home and just like chill out and get used to being here. And Gabby already was like, let's ride tomorrow. So. I have to do the switch. Oh, do the switch. Wait, I just slipped a switch. Everybody ate all their hay except uh, Chino, actually he ate most of it. Wow, Chino, you'd be messy in the stall. Today's video is sponsored by the Just Woke Up People. No teeth brush, no hair brush. We got bras on though, did you get your bra on? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we got our bras on. But that's it, the rest of the set, Gabby's still in her pajamas. I'm dressed. I'm, I'm dressed too. <laughs> One of the struggles of having a farm is getting up at the crack of dawn and going I down to let the horses out. nobody was feeding my horse. <laughs> Yay! One day she got a brand new custom saddle and she decided nobody's riding in that but me. And you guys all know what that happened then. Nobody's. Feeding, feeding my, my horse. horse. That's awesome. Hi, baby. I know, did I not come pat you? People get confused by him with his ears back. He always puts his ears back. Mom. Because he thinks he can get what he wants. Mom. Yeah. Surprisingly, it all, almost all of this stuff. And this yeah, is bad hay. No I know. None it. of the horses eat. That's like cow hay. Finny, you don't even look like you had any hay in there. It's cold today. Aww. I wondered if he was laying down. It kind of looked like he was laying down. <gasps> I told you not to lay down, but look, you can kind of tell. Look at the shavings. There's like a big hole in the middle. He must have been laying on the poop. Poop make a comfy bed? She know? She know Ben yeah. Bino? She was like, yes, he does. Yeah, I told it him. This must have been where his head was. I then. told him not to lay down. Well, this must have been where his head was. Yeah, that's scary. Let's show them. I don't know if you can tell. And he moved all the shavings. All the, the shavings corner. are in the corner. So and then, then here, the there's this there. big, huge open space. No, head here. Back yeah. There, yeah. Down. Yeah. Wow. Chino, glad you lived through that. <laughs> One positive about having our horses in a stall sometimes is that horses do like to lay down in nice comfy spots. So sometimes horses that are in stalls get a lot of get more sleep than they might. Sometimes. I know people are gonna come at me, but sometimes horses oh my gosh, the rain is starting. Sometimes horses will get more sleep <laughs> when they're in a stall <laughs> than they could ball. get in a field, especially it's in a new house where they're all getting used to each other. Horse number one. Bye. Horse number three. Two. Horse number two. When everyone folds your forks to holes You're placing your bed Showing no regret Close your eyes to hide your lies Roll the dice You got me tiptoeing around you like a I use my 
Gabby's getting the fence. Ooh, he just took it off. Oh God, I'm in the field. You got me tiptoeing around you like you made a glass. Got an invisible fence letting everyone know not to trespass. But you're bound to break down, bound to lose. Bound to get knocked right out of your wings when I use my witchcraft. <laughs> Lots of hay in the field. Nice, pretty spot. Oh, Chino, do not move away. Do not let him be the boss of you. See? He didn't. He moved his feet, but he didn't move off. Yeah, if Stormy gets too far, Chino will be like, no. Nah. What I'm worried about is the day that Chino says enough is enough, and Storm has to jump the fence. That would be exciting to see since he's never really jumped this high. It's like three, nine, four foot. Oh, I think Storm could do it. We changed their blankets. Definitely. Kick him, Chino. Chino beat Storm up. Oh, that's to gonna do. suck. We'll go beat him up. He's an easy horse to beat this up. This is gonna Trust suck me. if Storm is the boss. <coughs> Kinda looks like Storm's the boss, Gabby. Well, at least it's my horse. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. Kick him, Chino. Chino, kick him. We give you permission. All right. Ponies have their breakfast. There's still lots of hay outside. So we're, I worry about Willow becoming metabolic because of her age and because... I don't know. I just when worry I about her. On the halter, when I'm meeting her, she's super slow. When I trot her, she literally gallops. Yeah, it doesn't have to be an age thing for sure, but I mean, age must increase the risk, just like with humans. But anyways, so we're gonna. I'm gonna go out there, and I'm gonna. I might go do it right now. I'm gonna go clean up that field. When I use my witchcraft. To trespass, but you're bound to break down, bound to lose, bound to get knocked right out of your boots when I use my witchcraft. When I use my witchcraft, I got my moves, I got my song. When I turn my mojo on, I'm feeling fine, I'm feeling strong. It won't take long when I use my I see you just ate. It was nice of you to show up. How come you be gone all the time? Are you sharing somebody else's house? Tell the truth. Tell the truth. I was worried about you. Yes, I was. This cat. This kitty. Yeah, where you been? Everybody's gone up to eat. They all left me to go eat. Our barn is a huge mess now. Our field is kind of a big mess now. But I am going to be, we are going to be working on it all week. That's what our goal is this week. I have a bunch of supplies. 
Hopefully that'll last us a couple of weeks. I feel like I should stay down here with Hendrix though, like visit with him while he's here because he always disappears. And he can't be that hungry because he only ate half of, half of his bowl of food. And he's not skinny, you're not skinny, no. So a big huge noisy truck just went by on the road and uh, all the boys out there, they didn't even flinch. I think it's good that they were outside all the time before they moved home and they were like on a busy road as well so they're so used to that so that's super good but yeah I think Storm is gonna try and be the leader I think that he respects Chino because Chino doesn't isn't a wimp so to speak but I don't know what will happen it's early days yet I do see them all figuring it out and working together and and being a, a happy herd so that is good so when we took the horses to the field this morning, Storm, I had Storm, I was trying to video, so I was taking him with my left hand, I didn't have as good control. He was chomping at the bit, like he was like, I just want to go out. He was so excited to get to the field, it was so crazy. He was so excited, like that's encouraging, like that's such a good thing to feel, like that he's excited to be home. But that is one thing I have felt this whole entire transition bringing them home, is that they're excited. Finn could not wait to get to a stall last night, was dying to get there. Chino, totally confused, looking around out there like, what is happening just eating like okay fine I'll just eat they're all hanging out like perfect but yeah it's, it's so much better so far now I'm ready for the fun to begin I'm like Gabby let's go for a walk with them which I mean we could do before it rains all right this is gonna be my Saturday hair I was gonna jump in the shower and then I'm like I have way too much to do I, Look, I washed my hair now so Guess Gabby washed her hair though. Washed. I did Gabby wash washed my hair. washed her hair. You know what? I, I thought you washed my hair get greasy. You, she watched her hair get greasy and then she washed it so it's not greasy. Um, Gabby, you should be wearing your. We need to get you a shirt that says two bays. A uh, girl in her. A girl in two bays. But I thought you'd wear your hey bays yo. before boy shirt. Hey, you're going on camera. Gabby, look, it's Peyton. It's Peyton. This is Gabby, one of Get Sophie's friends. They are together every single night. They're like a staple and in Olivia, our family. But Olivia's not here right now. Yeah, Olivia's never there. It's always Peyton. Yeah, when, when the vlog comes out, Olivia's never here. And then all of a sudden, Olivia just pops in every once in a while. Yeah. Did you brush your hair today? It's a weekend. Why do Peyton, we did you brush your hair today? Oh, I just woke up like an hour ago. So not yet? So Gabby's already chomping at the bit. She's like, let's go, I gotta ride my horse. I'm like, Gabby. Are you actually gonna ride your horse? Yes. What's your plan? To ride Western. To ride Western, but wait, do you have a Western saddle for him? Mm-hmm. What? Yes. Yes? <gasps> she has a Western saddle for Tino. That's new. Gabby and I are going to get set up and we're hoping that Sam, that Sam is gonna get our solo shot set up and bring it down and we're gonna try that sucker out. Are you gonna go get him? Yes, I need help though. All right, I'll be right there. If you guys saw the homecoming video that we posted last night, then you might have saw the point where Chino was so confused when Gabby went riding off with Storm and he kind of was a little jealous and went running and wouldn't let her play with Storm. Hi, Vinny boy. It's not time to come in. Any of you guys who are worried about the horses getting grass? There's very little green, like you can see a tiny bit there starting to come up, but there's no green yet. My handsome. They're confused. They're like, why is he going and not us? They're gonna freak out when Gabby goes riding with Chino. I just already feel it. I feel bad for Storm. I know a lot of you guys feel bad for Storm, but there's not anything we can do about it. She can't just ride one horse for the rest of her life so his feelings don't get hurt. She does her best with him. She honestly does. She like, you saw, she just went into the field and spent some hugs and kisses on him before she took Chino. You know, she feels guilty too, but this is just the way that it has to be. Like, she will continue to ride Storm. She will continue to ride Finn because she's the only one that can keep our horse's uh, health level up, exercise level up. Chino's over here meeting our our ponies. 
He's like, what are they? He likes small ponies. Do you like, aw? He's like, she's my co Oh crap. I, was, I, I broke a stick. Oh my goodness, Gracie, what have you been doing? She wanted to be an Appaloosa. She wanted to look like the sky. Should I do the big reveal? So yesterday I said that we had a couple of surprises and one's a big surprise and one's a mini surprise. But basically uh, yesterday we were able to buy Western saddle and saddle pad for Gracie. A Western. She don't know pie. A Western saddle for Gracie <coughs> and a little saddle pad. It's a little beat up here, but I think this is perfect for my grandkids um, to we ride her. So All right. And then after the big surprise is that dun da da da, Gabby got a chino sized western saddle. It's, it's not super fancy. Down. Our other bar, our old barn. You guys, we have so many old barns. I'm gonna have to say our old barn, our old old barn, and this our old 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 here. barn, and then our old 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 barn. That's how many barns we've been through. But the last barn we were at, not many. Uh, we're with Brandon. They're cleaning out all their stuff. Like they're taking this time, like everybody else is taking time to clean. They're organizing and they were getting rid of a few things. So I bought two saddles and Brandon was able to try it on Chino like the night before we went to pick them up. Make sure that it was a good fit and he said it'll even fit out when he gains like some weight. It's a muscle. It's a muscle. So yeah, like we want to have Western saddles for all of us. One day we'll upgrade to really nice Western saddles, but for now, yay. So we always say how perfect Chino is. Like he does everything so, so, so well. But the one thing that you guys might not know that is not perfect on Chino, well his weight, also he has flat feet. I hate buying horses with flat feet, but could have been way worse. There could have been so many other things that could have been wrong. I'm trying to find his scoop boots. Do you even know where his scoop boots are? All right, Gabby's gonna show you how it's done. Oh God, no, it's not lifting up. She is horse. a little worried about lifting this. Up on a tall horse. She's lift, she is a bit worried about lifting this thing up on him. And that's how you do it. You ought to me to fling it up. Fling it up. Yep, there we go. All right. Can you open it with me? How did more poop get there? You want this duo? Yes. Storm! I hear him. He's like, what the actual heck? Oh. Why don't you have your prepper boots on? You guys remember when we bought those shoes for her? They were really expensive and we splurged on them because they matched all her horse when she got her first horse. You know you can tighten it. And they matched it and now she's wearing them in the mud. It's fine. They were 80 bucks. No, they were 130. surprisingly good does that surprise you the horse is amazing even if he never wins a ribbon any other ribbons in his whole entire career with us the horse is amazing I think he was I think he does have to pee we gotta lean back down the hill can I go on the road you gotta get a scoop boots 
They're easy. Go get them and we'll put them on. Gabby's got his scoop boots on. She's gonna take this boy on the road. Yeah, a lot of people driving around. Okay, can I ask another dumb question? This is for all the experts out there. So, I think our, our farrier leaves our horses hooves a little bit longer as opposed to shorter, which sometimes when you do too short, they go lame for a couple weeks after they get done at the farrier. So I'm grateful for that. And he, obviously there's a big science about how to shape the foot to fit the horse. Good sister, this is a nice hill for his butt. So, then I was reading something a couple of days ago about how, about navicular, and I don't know how to explain it, but I was wondering, and this is gonna be so stupid, but you know how like, is there a chance of longer toes is that like a more of a chance of creating a condition, a situation for navicular to develop? I know navicular is like a group of issues, not just one single issue. But that's my question, if you guys can understand it. Do long toes over time create a better situation for navicular to occur? That's, that's it, that's my question. So you like this bit better? Yeah, he seems better with this bit. I mean, if the other one is designed to help him mouth, then it was working well, but I don't know. I like it too. Good job. Yeah, is he your dream horse, Gabby? Yeah. Particularly more of my dream horse. I wanted face marking or socks. Oh, so. Have socks. Storm is her dream horse, technically. But this is a horse you need now, huh? Yes. It might not be the horse she needs in 10 years. It may not. Well, he will be old in 10 years. Let us escape.